integrating Node JAs with AWS S3 for CRUD operations. First, make sure you have Node JAs and NPM installed on your machine. You'll also need an AWS account with access to the S3 service. Don't forget to obtain your AWS access keys, including the access key ID and secret access key, with the necessary S3 permissions. Now, let's set up AWS S3. Step 1. Create an S3 bucket. Log in to your AWS Management Console, go to the S3 service, and create a new bucket. Remember to take note of the bucket name for later use. Step 2. Set up AWS Access Keys. In the AWS Management Console, navigate to IAM, Identity and Access Management. You can either create a new user or use an existing one. Attach a policy that grants the necessary permissions for S3 operations, such as Amazon's 3 Full Access. Don't forget to jot down the access key ID and secret access key for this user. With our AWS S3 environment set up, let's move on to creating our Node.js application. Initialize a Node.js project. Open your terminal. Create a new directory for your project and navigate to it. Run npm init y to initialize a Node.js project. Install AWS SDK. Install the AWS SDK for Node.js by running npm install AWS SDK. Create an AWS configuration file. In your project directory, create a file named iesconfig.json and add your AWS access key ID, secret access key, and your desired AWS region. Now that we have our Node.js application set up, let's implement CRUD operations with AWS S3. Be sure to replace your bucket name with the name of the S3 bucket you created earlier. The upload file, download file, and delete file functions showcase how to perform CRUD operations on S3 objects. You can uncomment and run these functions with the desired file names to interact with your S3 bucket. With this setup, you've successfully integrated Node.js with AWS S3, allowing you to perform create, read, update, and delete operations on objects in your S3 bucket. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more exciting videos. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to stay updated.